1997. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. In 1997. And this then was their bypass to an impasse that had developed out of digging in. We might end up there. But before I proceed on that point, uh, Michelle, allow me just to, give, uh, to add a bit on what my colleague said here about the ceiling of ballot boxes, uh -huh. that NASA also added an additional ceiling ballot, uh, seal on the ballot boxes. Mm -hmm. I had the privilege of being a representative of the LSK uh -huh. as an observer, and I was in charge of, I, I supervised, yeah, I was in Kakamega County. I do not recall NASA having had it's not possible the, the seals. it's not it feasible not possible. in fact between you and me nasa did not have agents in all the stations mm -hmm. yeah. forget about putting it's a seal possible. but maybe my colleague actually had... i was a, i was a chief agent for a candidate in embakasi central and in all the ballot Thank boxes yeah. they actually yes. did put a seal yes. so maybe mm. my colleague had mm. his uh, experience i had mm. my experience yeah. but that may not be applicable all across the country so mm. that cannot be used as an indicator. probably this was done in the swing counties maybe, yeah. <laughs> number two yeah. I want to say something about what, how the president has reacted. Mm -hmm. Michelle, under the constitution, we have three arms of government, and this is what Kenyans must understand. Mm -hmm. These three arms of government have their own presidents. The head of government and the head of state is the president. He leads the executive. The second arm is the judiciary, and the president of that arm of government is the president of the Supreme Court. And the third one is parliament. These three arms must work in complementary with each other, but they cannot supplant the other. In other words, the executive cannot replace the judiciary and vice versa. Now, in my view, even as the president hurts, he must also remind himself that the presidency as envisaging the constitution is the symbol of national unity. Mm -hmm. And maybe perhaps before you continue, Dr. Bukwana, let's have Kenyans understand what we are speaking about. Uh, President Horu Kenyatta's remarks and uh, you know, remarks uh, surrounding the court ruling by the Supreme Court have been termed as an attack on the judiciary. Let's first uh, listen in to what President Horu Kenyatta had to say about that court ruling and about Chief Justice David Maraga. Maraga don't interfere. And don't think that because our friends shout and we keep quiet, that we are scared of you. No, we are not. Wameamua ya kwamba hawa ndiyo wana uwezo kushinda wanainchi milioni kuminatana watu wa ini ati ndiyo watakuja wasema kulikuwa technicality ati wanainchi milioni kuminatana hawata rudia kurasita watarudia kuramoni Sasa wewe wa jamuni, ato wakia mjinga na mnagani, jiulize, MC ya mepigiwa kura, imekua transmitted. <laughs> na wewe miti mwenyewe, ndi wametuma majaji kila kona, 47 counties, ati kushuhudia, kwa pishwa, <laughs> so that is uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta, they're reacting to that uh, decision by the Supreme Court. You've had a lot of that, gentlemen. There was a lot more that was said, even outside um, State House remarks that have not gone very down very well with the Law Society of Kenya, with the mm. Kenya Magistrates and uh, Judges Association. Let me begin with you, Kaguchia. Yeah. Um, I was to come to you. Your thoughts on these remarks by the president, do they warrant or do they amount to wanton intimidation of the judiciary? Um, now, <laughs> in this country, not only in this country, issues of Supreme Court rulings are highly political. Mm -hmm. Because, if, for example, if you have to look at the time usually allowed for, uh, for, for the Supreme Court to actually go through these cases, um, practically speaking, is really a time that is not sufficient or enough 
to ventilate into legal issues that may, may have arisen out of the uh, just concluded election. And so what happens mainly is that it becomes a highly political process rather than legal. And, and so uh, the outcome of every Supreme Court ruling, whether it invalidates or whether it upholds, is bound to attract a lot of political uh, pronouncements right. and, and, and comments. Mm -hmm. and, and that is uh, not anything different from what you saw in 2013. The side that loses in this kind of a case feels always that politics has gone against them, you know, you know not always legally, uh, but... Um, that the decision of the judges uh, definitely has gone against the will of the people. Mm -hmm. And that you saw in 2013 happening from the other side. This time round, uh, Jubilee has lost and it is not anything different. Mm -hmm. That is why you hear the president, uh, you know, making the pronouncements that he's making. And one of the things I guess they will do when uh, eventually, um, they, 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 if they win this election, mm -hmm. one of the things they will do is to then go back to this decision and ask, okay, so at what point, uh, um, I mean, when we look at some of these forms that then were, were, were used to invalidate the election, mm -hmm. then we want to see um, how was the voting done actually. In fact, they may even want to go and do the, a, a calculation, even the ballots or the, the, the votes that were, that, that were counted in that area. But again, they may also win and, and just trash it and say mm -hmm. it was, it was Maraga's decision at that time. People have now spoken and now we are going to move on. We'll forget about that. But for now, you will see that this kind of pronouncements because remember, we are now already in a political process. Is it in and, order, Kaguchiya? This yeah. is a sitting president. Is it in order for no, him to this, have these pronouncements at, 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 at about this the point, Supreme Court? At this point, you wouldn't expect anything different from any political leader. You know he's a sitting president, but he's also the presidential candidate whose election, which he believes was won using the majority of Kenyans, mm -hmm. has been invalidated. So you have to also have that in mind. He's not just the president, but he's also a candidate in this election. Right. So And his election has actually been <laughs> invalidated. Uh -huh. And so what would happen is not anything different from what you had uh, happening uh, just before uh, even the Supreme Court uh, started their sitting. You remember Raila Odinga saying that since the president talked about time they have not lost a case mm -hmm. and then uh, again you, you remember also now Raila saying that now the Supreme Court it is your time to redeem yourself mm -hmm. it is and your now time received a lot of luck from and, the president of course himself. he did of course he did because it's a political process and when is it, it is your time to redeem your image from 2013 you again now see uh, the judges saying oh you know from our conscience mm -hmm. and from 2013 we do not want again to be bashed and why did the president say if we don't shout it's not like we are fearing you it's because uh, already the opposition seems to have shouted and said if you are not going to rule in this kind of a, of a, of a manner then we will be bashing you we will say you are not uh, credible you know and now he says if they are saying that you are not credible and they are shouting if you rule against them it's not like we can not also shout. We can also shout from our side as politicians. So really, it is a political process. And what I would want to say again, uh, if you look at the outcome of this election, I mean this petition, what the president and the deputy have done, they have not just criticized the decision, but after accepting it, they have actually moved on. You know, I have seen people <laughs> telling them that accept and move on. What they have done is that they have accepted and they have moved on. How have they moved right, on? I'll, 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 come, I'll come back to you, Kaguchi. I'll come back to you because we really need to, yeah. uh, first of all, answer this question. Yeah. Osido, do you agree with, um, uh, you know, Kaguchi, first of all? Because the question is, is it in order for a sitting president, the defender of the Constitution, to utter the words he did about the Constitution, I mean, about the Supreme Court? Michelle, from where I sit and speaking for many other Kenyans, I don't think it is right. But it is, it is right to the extent that His Excellency the President is also a human being. Uh -huh. And so you expect that uh, when these kind of things happen, then a human being will behave in a particular manner. But note that there are people that have higher expectations. The good book says, to whom much is given, much, much is, is required. Yeah? So when you are a president and you have what is called the presidency, the presidency comes with certain things. And that is why His Excellency the President is allowed to say certain things, behave in a certain manner, uh -huh. and not to say certain things and not to behave in a certain manner. And this, in my view, is now so unpresidential. Now, it is unpresidential to the extent of the manner in which his body language is speaking. Because even the day when, uh, on Friday evening, he was at Burma Market and so many things were said. If you look at uh, Kenyans, because the uh, Kenyans on Twitter, because we are so many, um, we are much more expressive 
in our social media platforms, you will see the kind of things that people are saying about our president. But note that social media is not just uh, limited to Kenyans. Other people are watching this. And you also see people, my Ugandan friends, are also sending this on, uh, on WhatsApp pages and criticizing and ridiculing my president. How do you think, as a Kenyan, I feel when certain language is not so presidential to certain people who are supposed to be respectful to our country because of our several sovereignty? Mm -hmm. The second thing, in my view, is the president's handlers. At this point, it becomes very hard to tell the president not to say certain things because he's a human being. But how do you take those things? Especially um, terms or uh, words like, we shall respect, but we shall revisit. Accept and move on. You uh -huh. know, looking at 2013, people accepted it and but, they but, moved but, on. but surely, if the decision is uh, completely objective and legal, why would the issue of revisiting uh, be a problem. Precisely. Right. Uh, gentlemen, what, just is, a moment. Let's yeah, hear from Dr. Mukwana uh, on this <laughs> issue. <laughs> you know, uh, Michelle, I have said here and I repeat mm. that Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta as a person is a very pleasant chap to deal with. That's a fact. <laughs> Give it to him. Uh -huh. mm. I have also said that he's very conciliatory in the way he radiates with the public. However, a man is also judged by the company he keeps. <laughs> then you go to number two. And he's so pent up with anger. I say this, Michelle. Tomorrow at nine, I'll be going to the high court. I have a case of contempt of court. Mm -hmm. I received orders from my client. Yeah. The fellow who was supposed to be performing what the court ordered has refused and my client is frustrated, I'm rushing back to court and saying, look, can you help me enforce these orders? Mm -hmm. If the court refuses to enforce these orders, it means that there is no law and order. Let's bring it to the attack on the judiciary. The president of the Supreme Court must and should be respected, regardless of the decision he has made. You see, we have this saying in Kiswahili that mkuki mm. kwa ni mtamu kwa binadamu ni mchungu. 2013, the decision went the jubilee way. And oh my God, accept they said, and accept and move on. And for the, for the next, for the five years, it was yule mzewa vitandawili, yule mzewa nusumkati. And the poor fellow Raila lived with it. Come 2017, yeah. and the shoe is on the other foot. The president says, I have accepted <coughs> from one side of the mouth, with due respect to the president. But on the other side, he's saying, when we come back, we will sort them out. Uh -huh. Coming from a president, it's scary, I can assure you. Because the president is my president, whether I'm NASA or Jubilee. Whether you are NASA or Jubilee, he's a president. Mm. And I agree with Kevin when he says that to whom much is given, That's much it. is expected. So I do not agree at all that the president ought to speak the way he has spoken, it divides the country. And for your information, in 2002, if I'm not mistaken, when uh, President Kibaki took power, was that the was, yes. Uh, was yes. That? yes, that is it. Because of the optimism that the citizens had that corruption was going to go away, the citizens copied from what their leaders were doing, and they started mm. chasing down traffic policemen, arresting traffic policemen for, for bribes. That is how the presidency is important in showing the example to the citizens on what should be done. Mm -hmm. Today, if the president digs in and the deputy dig in the way they are, they are doing, their followers are similarly doing it. Yeah. And the, Raila and his followers will do similarly. Where we are headed, it can very easily burn this country. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. We were there in 2007. It takes a loose tongue to go there again in 2017. And let's not pretend that we are special. It is how we handle our interaction as citizens of this country that will build or destroy this country. Mm -hmm. So for me, it is a no, no to speak negatively over the decision of the court. After all, Michelle, when we disagree in a civilized democracy, where should we go to? To the court. If not court. I, I, Just I, a moment. I, <laughs> and in this court, <laughs> if we disagree a million times, Let's rush to court a million times. 
So you cannot vilify me for having gone to court several times. Mm -hmm. And if you, do not if you do not agree with the truth of the court, you appeal. Unfortunately for the Supreme Court, it is the There's no appeal. Court. There's no appeal. Yeah, it's true. Right, so uh, uh, me, one of the points it, I, one of the points I disagree with Dr. Ari is where he says that uh, you should not criticize the decision of the court. Uh, the, the decisions of the courts are critiqued. And uh, as a senior uh, counsel, one of the things that you must always do every day is to critique the decisions, of, uh, the decisions of judges all the times. And judges know that. The only thing that Michelle, I wouldn't agree with, uh -huh. is to critique the judge himself. Uh -huh. To ridicule, you know? not yeah, critique. To, yeah, to critique, to ridicule, ridicule. To, to put uh, the judge in a bad light. Uh -huh. That shouldn't happen. For sure, that yeah, shouldn't happen. Right. Even the uh, president should not uh, say anything negative about Maraga as a person. Mm -hmm. But the decision of the court uh, is, is something that we must all engage in, is something that we must always uh, critic, especially now after it is out. And, and, and the issue of revisiting again, it is not revisiting the judges. It is revisiting the decision of the court. No, okay. uh, are you uh, getting it? And, 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 and what? I mean, I, I I mean Michelle, this, Michelle, let me just put this point forward. We will have to change the just, judiciary yeah. after just, the next Just a point. No, I don't think it's about changing the, the judiciary. Mm. You, you know, when we are talking about Please decisions, Dr. Dr. <laughs> when we are talking about decisions of the court yes. from lower courts, yes. all the way up to yes. court of appeal, or maybe up to high court, even court of appeal, all these how, how do we revisit those judgments? We revisit those judgments by appealing, isn't it? Yeah. We appeal those ju judgments uh, in higher courts. When it is a court, when it is a Supreme Court, there is no opportunity to of revisit. ever appealing. And so what <coughs> the presidency must do, and I think they seem to have done, mm -hmm. is to actually move on, as, as it has been rightly put, and as they rightly put it in 2013, move on. And how have they moved on? Those guys have already covered four counties, as we are talking. Mm -hmm. The first night after the, the decision was made, when guys were in celebratory mood, the guys were already in Bama, Nairobi County. They went to Nakuru, they have gone to Kajiado, and they have gone to Narok to campaign and to now try and uh, you, know, uh, you know, bring back their, mm -hmm. their, 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 their guys back into their support. Now, they are moving on. But the issue of revisiting is not revisiting the judges, and they shouldn't, by the way. If that is what the president meant, then that should not happen. You should not come back to Maraga himself. You should not come back to all the other judges. What they should probably come back to is to look at this judgment. What, how was this judgment arrived at? And by the way, this is an issue that is going to be of interest but globally. Is, isn't that something that is likely to, to be seen in we, 20 we, days we, when we, the we full actually, um, of we, we are actually going given. to see even